person posted on social media uh, on public about me. So, Andres, this is what the person said. Hindi ko na lang papakita yung pangalan, pero you can read it, diba? Here I am where the movie started Fizzing at a photo that taken Space tree flying through the skies and better What's up everybody? Welcome Ayun mo yan. 1, 2, 3, go! What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Andres. And it's me, Andrew. And we are the... Petal Chasers. Whether you are a content creator or a vlogger or kahit hindi po, I'm sure that you probably have your own share of social media attacks whether coming from people you know or people you don't know. And sometimes that situation can be very stressful. And I would like to take this opportunity to share some valuable lesson dito po sa anak ko. So as you know, Andres, he one day wants, he wants to be a content creator for whatever he wants to do. At if he exposes himself, out there in the world, whether through YouTube or probably creating his own channel sa mga kinakatakot na mga bata, including my son, is what people would say, what people would you know, react, will he get acceptance and higit sa lahat, ang kinakakinakatakot niya is, paano kung mayroong mga tao that would say mean things about him and you know what, maybe to us it's not that damaging, but for kids like him or whether, you know, whatever age I, whether you are kid or not, uh, even with adults, it can actually destroy your courage. It can even make you stop pursuing what you want because of the fear of, you know, what people might say. And I would like to take this opportunity para po pag-usapan namin dalawa yun and maybe share some things to you din po sa inyo. Last week, I was hosting the office, uh, I was hosting the virtual Christmas party sa office. Tapos ang saya-saya ako pa. And then, um, somebody sent me a message. Hey, Andrew, nabalita mo na ba na, you know, people were saying these things about you. And I was so surprised. And some screenshots were forwarded to me. And alam nyo, it's not a very positive po na type of message. And anyone could easily um, feel bad about it. In fact, since I know that my kids do watch my vlogs and sometimes they do see me on social media, um, it's just a matter of time for them to get to experience these things and I would like to take this opportunity po para pag-usapan namin. So, this is actually what the person posted on social media uh, on public about me. So, Andres, this is what the person said. Hindi ko na lang papakita yung pangalan pero you can read it, diba? Um, so, sabi dito, douse it, douse it all to hell, putting the fun in fungi side. Para nagtitimpla lang ng kape pero wala kang tubig, tapos iinumin mo or iinumin mo konting tubig, espresso style. And then, uh, there was, there's a banner that says, when you have too much time on your hands but don't have time to read the label. That's, ano masasabi mo? That's me. Why yeah. Would, I think, why would I... Why would someone say that? Yes, I know. Um, well, if you expose yourself to social media, you can expect that you can meet different types of personalities. Okay? Now, I'm not a very sensitive person. Uh, sanay ako sa mga masasakit na salita and sanay ako sa mga mean uh, people. But, you know, uh, I usually don't pay, pay attention and I don't really like debating with people. But the only reason why I am responding right now in my channel because it's my name posted there. It's my channel that was shared and of course, it was one of my videos po na pinag-uusapan. Now, meron lang po akong gustong i-address because that post was specifically talking about one of my tutorials which is about the FOF method o yung paglagay ng furadan, osmocote, and folicure sa pating mix. People reacted to that and a lot of people, you know, got scared of using folicure. Pero a few things po na gusto ko lang i-address sa video na to. Number one, um, the FOF method, um, if you actually watch the video, Napaka-specific ko po doon. Siguro ang gusto ko lang i-address yung part na putting the fun on fungicide na kasi parang the picture that was painted is that parang ito yung pating mix at ito yung folicure. By the way, hindi to folicure. This is DE powder. Props ko lang siya. Na parang nilalagay ko lang siya ng ganyan. Nilalagay ko lang siya ng ganyan. Nilalagay ko lang siya ng ganyan na binubudbod. And then bahala na. Nalipa rin siya and all. I know very well po how to read the label. Pero hindi naman po siguro sinabi na when it's recommended usage na yun lang po yung paraan na parang gamitin siya. In fact, di ba, ginagamit naman, marami sa inyo, widely accepted yung hydrogen peroxide, but there's nothing on the label that says, use it for plants. Yung cinnamon, walang kumakontra on how to use it sa halaman. The last time I checked the label, sabi doon, it's used for cooking and baking. So, you know, about the label thing, I have read it. 
it's just that not because yun lang po yung sinulat, yun lang po yung paggagamitan. Now, I know what you're gonna say na iba kasi yan, we're talking about instructions about chemicals. Again, if you do watch the video, ilang beses ko pong inulit at meron po ako napakatinding disclaimer doon na number one, you don't mess with folicure furadan because these are highly toxic chemicals, right? The picture that was painted is as if para tayo nag-spread ng spread ng ng folicure sa paligid na parang ganyan, 'di ba? So, you know, medyo parang taken out of context lang. It was specifically mentioned again and again <laughs> during the video na folicure is a dangerous chemical and you don't want to mess with it. Kaya nga po nakamas tayo and then we were wearing gloves. And I was just very specific about how I use it. And also, please note na hindi po yun lang yung only way to use it. It's a systemic fungicide and therefore, it works well when mixed with water. Na gusto ko lang pong linawin na hindi ko po siya mini-mix sa, sa potting mix. Kasi po, ang pagkakaintindi ng ibang tao, para mini-mix natin ng tulad niya, no? hindi po. Um, I know that it works by mixing it with water. Pero when I recommended that after na tutunan ko yan kay Sir Joshua I've tried it for several weeks gusto ko lang po linawin kasi alam ko na explain ko na po ito sa video na you put it, uh, what you do is that medyo malalim lalagyan mo siya ng folicure tapos ibabaon mo and then it stays there para ka lang talaga nagtatanim and then it only would work kapag diniligan mo na siya because it's quickly dissolved by water kahit hindi mo haluin. That's the only reason why we are using it. Now, when it comes to health and safety, you know, as much as possible, if you don't want to use chemicals in your home, if you have kids, pets, uh, if you have vegetables at home, then, then, then don't use it. You know, it's not for everyone. Pero sa tingin ko naman po, to be fair, um, napaka-specific naman po ng instruction ko dun sa video na it's a dangerous chemical, it can kill you, it can cause cancer, so you don't want to mess with it. But now, depende po kasi on how you perceive safety. Kasi in my opinion, and again, I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I'd rather bury it on the soil para po hindi siya naka-expose. Tapos papatungan ko siya na makapal na pating mix para po hindi siya naka-expose sa air. Of course, on the label it says, mix it with water and then spray it, pero kasi... As a father, something tells me na mas gusto ko na nandito na lang siya sa loob ng pot na to, tapos ibabaon ko lang siya, it's up to you. Pero I'd rather do that rather than mix it with water and then do this all over my garden. Diba? If I spray it like that, alam ko, i-spray mo lang naman siya specifically dun sa halaman, but I don't want to further expose it like that. And again, I am not a biologist, I'm not a chemist, but I know people who are and nag-consult naman po ako. It really is a dangerous chemical. You don't want to mess with it. It's not your only option. But, you know, I think in that video, napaka-specific naman po natin on how to use it. If you want to mix it with water or whether you would like to bury it, not mix, bury it sa pating mix po, then, you know, it's up to you. Pero ang akin lang po, I just don't agree with the part na para bang it's fun because chemicals are never fun. It's very dangerous po. So, that's the only thing I want to address about the folicure and the FOF method. So, you know, we're not forcing ever, anyone to use it. It works for me. So far, wala pa naman nalalason sa amin. So, that's how I use it. The bottom line here is that with all the technical terms, with all the scientific studies, I could be wrong, right? Um, pwede po kasi maging mali ako. Now, ang point ko lang po dito is that uh, when we deal with social media, unang-una, I, I clarified po on this channel na this is not going to be a perfect vlog. You know, I am going, I'm not going to be the expert and I will never claim to be, right? Kasi, because some people are saying, sino ba yan? Expert ba yan? Bakit nagsasalita yan ng ganyan? Now, kung ang hanap nyo po talaga is yung vlogger na perfect, yung vlogger na scientist, then this is not the vlog for you and we are not forcing anyone to subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're looking po dun sa vlogger na talagang super tama lahat ng ginagawa nila and they say all the perfect things, then again, you might want to go for that channel because hindi po ito yun. If you continue to watch me, you will continue to see my errors, my learnings, my experiences. At kasama po dun, yung pagiging totoo natin sa tao na when we don't know, we really don't know. Yun po yun. And... Ang gusto ko lang din pong linawin is that if the intention of the people is to save the humanity from health hazard, 
um, someone could have just sent me a message. Public naman po yung video and all. Pero if you look at the post kasi medyo there's a lot of hatred. Uh, there's a lot of animosity on it. Pero syempre, I don't have control on what people would say. Pero the only reason why I'm responding because it's my face on there, it's my channel that was shared. And I think, you know, you guys ought to hear from me. The other thing po na gusto ko lang i-address about that particular post is the fact that um, hindi lang po yun yung instance na someone needs to clarify with me. I do get some messages from people who are asking for clarifications, who don't agree with me, and we have healthy discussion. Now, um, if the intention was, was to save people from ignorance or to save people from the wrong information, someone could have just reached out to me. Pero instead, it was shared on a uh, succulent group that I am not a member of. So there was no intention to actually talk to me. So mali malinaw po na ang, ang intention doon is just to really, you know, naipahiya ka sa mga tao. Yun yung gusto namin pag-usapan ng anak ko because he's very young, he's 9 years old, and I'm sure whether he continues to do content or in, you know, he will just be active on social media when the time comes, he will be experiencing those kind of things. Now anak, gusto kong malaman mo na things like that is hindi mo maiiwasan. But what's important is how you deal with it. Unang-una po, um, ang reaction ko nung nalaman ko yan. Siyempre, tao lang po tayo. Gusto mo magwala, you are tempted to answer back. Pero na-realize ko, this doesn't represent all of you. This doesn't represent yung mga tao. The last time I checked, after that post was shared, people are still reaching out. We are still getting a lot of positive comments. Napatunayan ko po na napakaraming tao pa rin that are very mature. Uh, a lot of people are still very positive. But not everyone agrees with me, pero they reach out to me. They gave recommendations. Uh, they gave scientific explanations. Pero what I am really happy to realize is that those kind of hateful comments only represent the minority. Uh, a lot of people are not blinded Gaya po ng kiniklaim na ibang tao na para daw kulto, na para daw lahat ng sabihin pa naniniwalaan. No po. A lot of people disagree with me. A lot of people debate with me. And that's what I like about this channel because I am never the expert. You can correct me. We can have a healthy conversation. You can give recommendations. So, hindi po ito yung perfect channel. This is actually a channel where we could discuss and learn together. And yun naman po talaga yung pinangako ko sa inyo nung isa pa lang. When you encounter situations like this, someone would say something about you, someone would embarrass you in social media, unang-una, hindi na natin makokontrol yung sasabihin ng ibang tao. But what's important is that how you respond to it. Inisip ko na lang po is that, you know, alam ko naman na meron talaga hindi maniniwala sa'yo and they would just quietly walk away. But if someone actually would have the time to screenshot to edit, to watch your content and wait for your mistakes and post you on social media instead of doing something that's productive for their life, then maybe the problem is not with us, maybe the problem is with the other person. And gusto ko na lang po isipin na I am still very fortunate because I have a very, you know, I have a very good career. Um, this is a good hobby that I have, this vlog thing. I have a very loving family and financially we're doing okay naman. So, inisip ko na lang, maybe some people need understanding. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite. Nagagalit po ako, naiinis ako, and sobrang nakakatempt sumagot. But come to think of it, we can never control what people would say. So what I did, I turned off social media, I spent time with my family, I talk to people who matter to me, like you guys, yung mga nagtatanong na maayos, yung mga kailangan ng tulong, and you know what? I just set it aside. I waited for many days, and the more na lumilipas yung araw, parang nawawala na lang siya ng saisay sa akin, because I'm still getting a lot of good responses from people. Sa totoo lang, pinilit ko na nga lang itong vlog na to, just for me to respond, pero na-realize ko, when I didn't respond to that post, parang na-realize ko na it doesn't really matter. So what matter is what you do, what you know. No, pinos ko yung wala naman ako intention magpasikat, wala naman ako intention manloko ng tao. It's just really me sharing what I believe was okay and with loads and loads of disclaimer. So yun po yung gusto kong linawin about that episode. As for you, Andres, um, you will encounter a lot of people like that. They will not understand you. They will not have the time to really get to know you, but they will be very quick to judge you and that's okay. What's important is that you choose very few people who matter to you and you focus on what you love. Because kahit anong gawin mo, kahit nga si Mother Teresa o si Mahatma Gandhi, meron mga haters eh. Even the Pope has haters. So, you might as well just do what you love, 
focus on being kind to people. Na realize ko this person who posted something about me probably needs some understanding and you know, my message to you is that I don't hate you personally. I have nothing against you. If you would like to continue saying bad things about me, then go ahead. I cannot stop you, but I will continue to do my vlog. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say that will stop me from doing this because this is something that I love. And the bottom line here is that I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my family and I'm doing it for the people who believe in me. I have nothing against you and I will never speak anything about you. Wala po kayo maririnig sa akin. I, and of course, doon po sa mga naniniwala sa atin, if you are tempted to reach out to these people who are talking about mean, uh, talking mean things about me, wag na lang po, uh, let's just enjoy our plans, let's just enjoy life. Uh, kung meron po sa inyo nagbabalak na ipagtanggol ako, uh, thank you po, but I'm okay. My family is doing okay. We're very happy. I am so busy with many other things. So, ito mga bagay na to, let's just let it go and, you know, be happy. I expect this will not be the last. In fact, even with this video, people might actually say something na nagpapaawa lang yan, getting sympathy, or trying to look na mabait. But, you know, that's okay. What's important is that we, deep inside, we know the truth, and I'm able to say what I believe in. As for you, my son, uh, continue to do what you love. People will always say something. And, you know, as long as you're not hurting anyone, as long as you're being kind and compassionate, then you have nothing to worry about. So I, I know that he's more of a listener today, but I just really want to bring him in for him to, you know, one day baka when it's already applicable, mapanood niya tong video na to and he could re-evaluate things. Pero, you know, to everyone who keeps supporting our channel, thank you so much. As you know, hindi po tayo expert, we're not perfect, but I am so grateful that you guys are still here. And I will continue doing this for you, sharing to you all of my learnings and my experiences. So, napakas maraming salamat po sa lahat ng naniniwala sa atin at salamat po ng nagsusupport ng channel. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe po and bless you all. Anything you want to say to that person who posted something mean to about me? I mean, it's okay for them to say that, but... I mean, it's kind of rude to and mean to say that to someone who's trying to reach the goal of their life. Okay, thank you so much, Paul, for watching and stay safe. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey. What's, What's up, everyone? Welcome, Welcome back, back to... to <laughs> One, two, three, go.